My name is Matt Saul from Sterling Heights Dairy Farm. We milk about a thousand cows outside of Sterling, Ohio. We have two dairy locations about 20 miles apart. We farm about 1,500 acres. We go corn, soybeans, alfalfa, and a little bit of wheat. On our farm, almost all of the corn that we grow is for silage. We put up about 13,000 tons of corn silage a year and about 5,000 tons of haylage. It's harvested with a self-propelled forage harvester and tractors and wagons and trucks, but then we store all of our feed in bunkers or drive-over piles. And those drive-over piles are the, the areas that we use the tractor with the LSW tires on it. Making a silage pile is kind of an art and a science. You want to have enough weight on the pile that you squish it down, squish the air and the oxygen out of the pile so that it ferments and doesn't mold and rot. But you can't have it so heavy that it just pushes the tractor right in the tires right down through the pile and just buries yourself. You can find some track units. I don't think they're ideal for silage because the track units, if you watch, they, they tend to dig up the top couple of inches right around the tracks and that just defeats what you just tried to do. But when I went on and looked at the tires online to see what they would do, I really wasn't even sure if they would work for silage. Do the LSWs have anything similar to tracks when it comes to pushing and packing silage? And we've seen really good traction with the LSWs on pushing the, pilot, the silage up the pile. That tractor gets used for tillage, primary and secondary tillage. So yeah, they, they, they stay on that tractor and get used for tillage as well. Well, I know air pressure is important in tires because you're trying to find that maximum amount of traction, but yet you don't want to damage the tire by being too low. When it comes to the Ag Specialist program, it is nice to know that you can talk to somebody from the factory that knows their tires and can give you recommendations on the tires and the air pressures and the things that you need to know about them. You know, I would say in the last couple of years, buying American has been more important to me than it was the previous couple of years. I, I like the fact that the LSWs are made in America. Yeah, I would recommend LSW tires for anybody that wanted to put them on their pushing or packing tractor.